Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Chris aka Mr. Remote420 and I'm here to do the Q&A series. That's right, I'm back with it. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, I have been doing this Q&A for probably quite a few weeks. I'm up to episode episode 11. Oh my god, it just doesn't end. Uh, okay, let me continue. Um, it's going to be the second round of questions from Richard Heavy Metal Riley. Uh, let's see. Do you ever feel bad about owning too much stuff that you don't need? Yes, absolutely. Um, not some of the new movies that right I own right now, but some of the older crap that I have that I, I didn't really need. There was just, um... Also, some a lot of the the graphic novels. I have lots of graphic novels. I just like why did I buy them? I was just one of those states that you have to buy, you have to buy. It's just so I definitely regret owning just a lot of that shit. If I could sell off the stuff, that'd be fantastic, especially a lot of the books. Uh, let's see, if you had the power to change one thing in the world, what would that one thing be? The economy. You know, I, I would want the economy and employment to be better for the for the U.S. That and you know having our boys stopped, you know, being part of every situation overseas. It's just you know a lot of great people have died. You know, from the fights over in Iraq and Afghanistan, so many places, but the economy, you know, plus, need some more money, baby. I got to have the green. Um, are there any people, you know, in your life you feel you've done wrong and that you need to apologize? Absolutely. There's quite a few. There's so, so many. But you know what? I'm not doing it here. Um, hell, there's one recently. Uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, there, there's a lot. There's a lot of people I I would want to apologize to. I mean, I, don't know if I feel bad. There's there's shit the shit I've done. Uh, well, okay. Uh, thanks, Rich. I really appreciate the questions. Next up. 81 Oak Ridge STF. Do you have any kids? Nope. What's the most dangerous situation you've ever been in in your life? Uh, the car crash. What's your opinion of our current president? He's meh. It's pretty shitty. Thank you, 81 Oak Ridge. Okay, next up. Um, first, first question from. Rob Zombie is awesome. You're gonna have to change that mic. Seriously, we know it's awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm fucking with you. Uh, nephew, of, <laughs> nephew of Genki. Um. Okay. First question. One day, your next door neighbor is knocking on the door, and he tells you to stop making noises and talking to yourself on camera. What do you do? Do you a Tom gonna fuck off and eat his mother's raggy eighty year old cunt. B beat the fuck out of him with your walker and spill dead rackets all over his face. <laughs> C get a kitchen knife, stab him to death, cut his balls off, and send him to Kiki as a gift for his birthday so he can have fun pissing and throw dog shit at this fucker. Oh, I'm sending that saying this across the sea. <laughs> it's it's not a dead eel, but <laughs> he might get you, he might get some use out of it. I would I would send him to aid. It just it'd just be weird. I'll say, oh thanks. Ugh. You couldn't you couldn't give me an octopus, you fuck. Um, great question. Uh, let's see next next one. From uh, another one from Mike. 
Uh, oh, you have, you looks like you had a one, but that's that's gone. Okay, you have you have four. Apparently, you said you had five questions, but oh, okay, it's the continuation of you had five questions all together. And okay, here here's the second one. Would you go get women with Ted Bundy if you could? Ooh, absolutely not. There is no way I would ever do that. That is a horrible thing to, to do. How could I ever go out with a sick person like Ted Bundy? There is no way, absolutely no way, I would ever do that with Ted Bundy. He's a horrible, horrible person. Okay. Good question. <laughs> um, what do you think of politics and the man? Damn the man. Uh, politics fuck up a lot of things. Uh, but then again, that's just like a regular person talking. Politics can help out. Um, politics can create jobs, but also politics can destroy a lot of things. Um, four. What is your favorite food? Italian. Love Italian. Uh, from stuffed shells to manicotti. You know, Fredo, pizza, pizza. Mm. Uh, yes, yeah, so all around it, it would have to be, you know, meatball sandwiches, sausage sandwiches. You know, I make a lot of the stuff myself. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good with it. Just overall, you know, it's it's harder to do it these days, but it's it is. Growing up, did you play any video games? Absolutely. My dad basically specialized in. If the newest shit was coming out, you know, we, he would get, I mean, after my mom and dad divorced, it was, you know, first the, the Commodores and then the Apples, and then it would start off, you know, with, uh, then, uh, ColecoVision, the fucking Smurf thing, the, uh, Activision, you know, go from Nintendo, Nintendo, you know, Sega, Sega Genesis. We even got a Sega CD system. Oh, that was so fucking bad. Oh, that was... Oh, I pissed us off. Um, we, we've... We've had systems in our... In our home. Just growing up. It's just, they've always been there. Now all I have is a... Uh, a 360 system. And only... And about three games to it. But I don't really... Spend too much time. I mean, it'd be great to, you know, have the 360 and have Netflix on it and for it continue to watch the whole fucking film. Ugh. So, yeah, I've, I've always had, like, a lot of systems, you know. Always loved them. Always will. Even when I'm 80 or 80 or I was old. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not doing that. You know, um, Mike, thank you for the questions. I really appreciate it. Next up is Jed Entertainment. What do you do for a living? Nothing. I am disabled. Uh, before that, I was laid off from my job. What is your ideal dream job? Oh. To be on YouTube for full time. Get paid for it. This, because I'm, I love what I'm doing now, and just, you know, to get, to get that would be just so fucking cool. Uh, what's your favorite movie? You know what? I'm going to show you. Now, a lot of you are saying, well, Chris, most of us know exactly what it is. But not this version. Um, I wanted to do a package opening video the other day, but the camera fucked up and, and everything came out. And uh, I'm going to show you. And I'm giving a shout out to Steelbook Addiction Java for telling me about this and what it is the Blu ray Steelbook of Goofles. It's so. It's so beautiful. 
It feels the net. It's nice and pretty. Did you miss me? I bet you miss me. Oh, this is so. Oh, wow. Yes, it is a steel book. Steel book Blu ray. It just recently came out this week. Oh, oh. oh. And you pop it open. Oh, oh, the step. And there's some artwork inside. Oh, look at that. It's amazing. And yes, the steel book is all mine. <laughs> so, yeah, that kind of, um, Hopefully that answers your question. Uh, I, I really appreciate your time. Uh, thank you so much. I think we have uh, time for a little bit more. Next up is Mr. Joel, 40, uh, 450. Hey, what's up, Jesus? How you doing? Let's see. Um, miss you around. Don't really see your videos. They, they probably are up, but unfortunately YouTube has been screwing with things. Uh, if you can go on time machine and be able to change something from your past, what would it be? Uh, November eighth, two thousand nine. Would it have my dad go to the, you know, doctors or hospital to get checked out? So yeah, that. Uh, also, on the same time machine, you go back in time and meet someone that someone at Golden. Our Hollywood stars and have a conversation with the star. What star would it be, and why would you be talking to them? Uh, Steve McQueen. Wow, that 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 was the motherfucker. He was the fucking man. He was a guy's guy. Uh, you know, there there's so many films he was part of, and and so many great things he he did. Uh, you know, I always wanted to find out. What was it like being, you know, being in that car chase scene in Bullet, driving down that road, just doing it, you know, 70, 80 miles per hour, just the power of that car. There's so many things that I would want to find out. I mean, you, know, you know, was he was he happy with, you know, the marriages? You know, were all the films that he picked were the ones that he wanted to do, or were the ones that just... F just fell right at the time, but then he realized afterwards that it just wasn't going to work out for him. So yeah, um, Steve McQueen, I would want to ask. There's so many things I want to Plus, I want to buy him a beer. Okay. Alright, guys, I think I have time for another more. Another one? Uh, okay. You know what? I got to, uh, you know, I better stop because there's actually quite a few coming from uh, and some of them are fantastic questions uh, I'm gonna stop right there guys thank you for asking me the questions I really appreciate it. I'm gonna try to do one tomorrow or the day after I don't wanna like you know I don't know alright guys I will see you guys later you have a great night uh, rate comment subscribe and don't drink the Kool-Aid Bye.